How do I get half moes and tails? What do I do? How do I get half moes and tails? Another day, another update. And in today's change log, new features are many. We got loads of things to show today, so let's not waste any time and get started. Opening the menu is actually our first new main feature. If you'd like to immediately go to the dashboard menu, holding control zero will send you straight there. And now that we're here, I can show you the next changes regarding models. Similar to skins, you can now change models in the recordings menu. This helps a lot if you just recorded a scene, but you had the wrong model with your skin. Plus, if you'd like to edit things straight from the model folder, there's a shortcut in the dashboard. Image morphs can now be cropped in-game. It's pretty useful if you've forgotten to remove something. Previously, you could only use Vox models if you converted them into OBJs. Now, with the new update, Vox models are supported. Just create a folder in the models folder and drag your Vox models in said folder. In the BB gun, there is a new feature to edit projectiles, fade in and fade out. The way both work is they determine how long it takes to generate the projectile and how long it takes for them to fade out. A small but interesting change added in this update is the reverse command. If you type slash record, reverse, and the ID of your actor, you can make the recording play backwards. A way you could apply this is like a tracer callback. A new checkbox has been added to recordings, teleport back. If you checked on, after recording an actor, you will be teleported back to the original position you started at. Record morphs have a new feature added in this update, random skip. The way it works is it will randomly start at a frame between zero and whatever number you input. If you have preset recordings like dialogue movements, this feature is perfect for that. There are a few bug fixes in this update, so I'll be covering two of them with this recording. The first one was some actors couldn't break blocks. This should now be fixed. The second bug was actors would disappear when the recording was done while scrubbing through the aperture timeline. Now, recordings will stay even after their cycle is done. The next, and possibly my favorite new feature, is Scenes. Instead of using a clunky old director block, access the Scenes menu via the Director menu. Select the top right icon and click on the text for Director Blocks, and it'll switch you over to the Scenes menu. Scenes are kind of like blockbuster recordings, but without a block. You can access them anywhere, and each scene you make goes into a folder. So you could make preset scenes and transfer them into other worlds. The last and possibly the most complicated thing in this update is the flip command. This is an advanced method in making machinima, so learning this will not be easy. The way it works is it flips an entire recording either on the x-axis or the z-axis. Why would you do this? I have no idea. But the way we'll demonstrate this is with the mirror. I pre-recorded the scene with an actor looking through this window and duplicated it with the dupe command. The parameters to reverse a recording is to choose what axis you want to flip by and the midpoint of the flip. Now that's a lot of information so let's break it down. First, axis. You need to choose which direction you want your recording to flip. The best method is F3. I want to flip my recording in this direction, so we'll be using the x-axis. Second, we need to find the midpoint of the flip. The way this command works is it pinpoints a middle ground between the original spot of your recording and the position where you want it to flip. Now let's say this spot is 1 and this position is 7. What number would be in the middle? 4. So in this case, we need to find 4. The easiest way in doing this is just looking at the wall and going into F3 and selecting the coordinate on that axis. Now, it's time to write the command. Slash record, flip, the file name, the axis, and the coordinate. If you did everything correctly, you should have something like this. But now, we enter another problem. 
What happens if the distance between point A and B is an even number? There's a fix to that too. Simply select the block adjacent to the middle and type out a command similar to the previous one. Slash record, flip, file name, access, coordinate, and then write false. This should fix it. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions about Blockbuster, you can ask in the comment section down below or join McHorus's Discord. The link is in the description. That's it. Thanks for watching. And. <laughs>